Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I will discuss about formal definition of a Turing machine or a representation of a Turing machine. Any Turing machine can be represented using seven tuples. We will look at them what they are. You have a Q denotes the set of states in a Turing machine. You have a sigma consists of the input alphabets. You have tau denotes the set of tape symbols meaning is that what are the symbols are allowed on the tape and you have a transition function you have q0 represents the initial state any turing machine will have only one initial state and you have a b which denotes the blank symbol on a tape and you have f denotes the set of final states meaning is that you can have more than one final state However, you can have only one initial state in the Turing machine. Now we will discuss about the transition function of a deterministic Turing machine. We, I think everyone know what is the difference between deterministic and non-deterministic. We have discussed about the deterministic finite automata and we have discussed about the non-deterministic finite automata. Similarly, we have discussed about the deterministic pushdown automata and non-deterministic pushdown automata. Now we will discuss about the transition function for a deterministic Turing machine. Meaning is that from a state on looking at an alphabet, you will go to only one state. So now we will discuss the transition function with an example. Okay, I have a tape which consists of blank symbols and I have stored a string called AB on the tape and I have a blank symbols to the right of the string also. I have my input alphabets A comma B okay and my tape symbols even input alphabets are also allowed on the tape so A comma B also part of the tape symbols and A I want to modify it as Y and B I want to modify as X and the blank symbol is yellow. Now let's discuss what are the tape symbols in this example. Tape symbols will consist of the input symbols because they are also will be stored on the tape and what are the extra symbols you want to modify because let's take that in some example you want to modify a to y and b to x and that's why i have taken them also as a tape symbols and a blank symbol also a tape symbol now let's take that i am in a state q naught i am looking at a tape symbol a and i am going to a state called q1 Right now my tape head is here. So that's why I can able to read the value A. Okay. Q1 and I am modifying it to Y. Meaning is that currently tape head I am reading it as A. And I am modifying it to Y. And I want to move to the right side. Okay. So I will represent as R. Okay. So currently tape head is here. Then if I make it as a right, it will be pointing to the B. So, if you see that from a state A, Q0, on looking at a tape symbol A, I went to the state Q1, only one state I went, and I have modified the tape symbol to the Y and moved to the right. So, this is a deterministic transition function. From a state, on looking at an alphabet, you are going to only one state. So, with this example, you have understood how to represent a for Turing machine and what is the formal definition of a Turing machine. If you have any doubts, feel free to contact me through in the comment session or you can ask a query in the comment session. I will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.